All right, I'm on hole number 17 of the 2000 Winter Major. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Let's go check out hole number 17. Hole number 8, 17, either one. Tomato, tomato. I'll tell you, Golf Clash has been around long enough. We've played these long enough. I'm, I wish they would come out with a... Uh, I wish they'd start, especially in these majors, it would be awesome to have an 18-hole tournament. Instead of a nine hole playing them twice, but an 18 hole tournament. I know why they do it, and they did it originally. I mean, think about it, because you may be on hole one and somebody else may be on hole 10. That's why it doesn't show like what hole you're on and what your score is. It just shows what you got on that hole. And, um, but we've got enough people playing now that we could have an 18 hole tournament. And, and the majors, if nothing else, but at least in the majors had an 18 hole tournament, that would be awesome. Instead of keep coming out with, you know, Shariva Springs, and we've got nine holes. Add nine holes on to uh, Greenwich Point or one of the other courses that are out there and give us an 18-hole tournament instead of playing in the Bush Leagues and playing nine holes. All right, on this hole, I'm going to – I'm coming at it so that I can get in front of the this rough and, and sand enough that I don't have to make my adjustment over the rough and sand. And the way I'm going to achieve this mythical goal is I'm going to use a Saturn – and a, and a kingmaker. Now my, I could do this. You can do the same thing with a grizzly and a turkey. And in this account, I could use a grizzly and a turkey to do it. But I'm practicing this shot with my other account. I'm doing the Saturn in my other account. And I'm going to do, and I'm doing a 20% wind adjustment as well. So let's think. Let me use a kingmaker. Cut the wind down a little. I don't... I think those mummy balls would be the ones, and I don't have any of the mummy balls. They're three power, four wind. Kingmaker X's are four power. I don't need four power. I don't think I have any that are three power, four wind. Pretty sure I don't. Kingmaker lookalike. That's a low wind. No, yeah, that's a two. That's that's a mummy ball, or not a mummy ball. That's a turkey. A turkey lookalike. I don't think I have anything that's, uh, no, I do. Three power, four wind right there. I'm going to try one of these. Let's try one of these vintage balls. See if that, uh, how that cuts it down. And with this account, the difference between my Grizzly and my, I'm going to use my Grizzly here because my Grizzly does have, if you got a level eight Grizzly versus a level seven, I've got enough backspin to be able to stop at it. My other accounts, I don't have a level eight grizzly, so there's not enough backspin. I have to adjust. It's not a big deal, but when you adjust, you have to. You may have to make your wind adjustment and include. You have to go over the sand for part of your adjustment. And whenever you, in my opinion, whenever you move your your bullseye over the sand, the ball gets affected differently by wind. And so, anytime I don't have to go over sand for an adjustment, I prefer not to go over the sand. So I'm going to take that vintage ball and a grizzly. Let's open up a pin chest. See how many commons we got. That's all we're looking for. 12, 23, 23 commons. Let's open up this platinum and see how many we got in there. 23, 19, 30, 33. A couple good chests. Let's get one rolling. Now let's get this T7 chest rolling. All right. One per ring, 20% wind adjustment. I'm at max club. One per ring, 20% wind adjustment. Maybe. Opponents rejoining. And they go first. Let's check my opponent out. 1170, 28 million earned, 5,900 games. Played in some tournaments and only made one. So I don't know if this is probably a practice account, secondary account. I'm always amazed when you see accounts that have 25,000 games and never played in a tournament. 
I mean, I, I get it. Maybe they, maybe they've got a, maybe they don't want their other account to ever get above Ricky. So they play in that account and that's just their deal. But the whole deal about this game is playing in tournaments. So, okay. 10%, 20% wind adjustment, one per ring. So it's two, three. Right in that neighborhood. Let's dial that sucker up to the cup. I mean, going right at it. So it's 2.3. 10% would be, that'd be four. That'd be two, seven. Let's say two, eight. 100% accurate club. There's 2.8 rings. Just try and hit it perfect. I think I hit it great. Great to the right. I mean, great to the right. That's another one of those shots. You hit that perfect, it goes in the cup. I've made I've made some adjustments as the week goes on, and on these par threes, there's two of the par threes that I was off a little bit, like and I've made some adjustments on them. I was coming to this hole right here, and I was hitting it just with a regular adjustment, and hitting it great to the left, and it go in the cup. So I started making a. I'm doing the twenty percent wind adjustment. And I started getting hole in ones. Same thing on hole number four. I started doing a thirty percent wind adjustment, and I started getting hole in ones. I think all three of the par threes that are in this game are extremely hole in oneable. Normally, we don't get that. You know, normally on these in these tournaments, we have may, one, maybe two of the par threes that have a legitimate hole in one shot. But there's always that one that's like pretty low percentage. But this particular tournament, all three of the par threes have a legitimate shot, and all three of them have some adjustment. Hole number one, one per rank, thirty percent. Excuse me, the first par three. Second par three, one per ring, 30%. This one, one per ring, 20%. Good luck. Good game. Good luck. All right, that was hole number 17 of the 2020 Winter Major in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.